everybody, welcome back to another episode of Village Craft here on Minecraft. So today we are back in the village and uh, after a couple of episodes spent of just uh, trying to get ourselves some decent armour and things like that, clearing up a few little bits and bob jobs, all sorts of things like that, we are going to actually do something useful and uh, make another building in this episode. So uh, of course with it being me, it's uh, absolutely tipping it down, raining. Uh, unfortunately until the sun actually sets and I can sleep or it, it just naturally goes away can't do anything about that but today we're going to be building this little thing over here so this is our latest building that's going to be added and uh, as you can see it's just a normal shape until here where it goes out there this is going to go to the outside um, and this is the villager conversion unit building that we're going to do so basically the idea before we start building is uh, there's going to be some steps to the outside world out there so let's just open it up there we go and um, basically if we see a zombie villager that we want to convert we're going to lead him into here uh, up some steps he'll come into a building just here and uh, get trapped somewhere something I ain't come up with what I'm going to do yet and uh, this room will be filled with um, golden apples and uh, potions of weakness and things like that I'll get him trapped in just here and uh, splash him Feed him a golden apple and then just wait for him to convert himself uh, and then we'll release him into the big wide world so uh, I suppose we can go ahead now and uh, put the door down where the door's going to be so the door's going to just go there and uh, yeah we'll go ahead and uh, start building so uh, I'm not got any ideas in mind really of uh, how I'm going to um, trap him uh, maybe like something a bit like the skelly trap with uh, pistons and things like that or maybe a lever I can flick up or something but uh, for now we'll just go ahead and build the actual device so uh, I'm thinking we need to go get some materials first um, I'm thinking maybe iron bars here just so we can see through what's going on um, some slabs up top um, here and then the building will obviously start just here we'll just make like a normal kind of building and then uh, we'll have uh, brewing stands so we can make our potions we'll have a few storage chests for uh, fermented spider eyes, gunpowders, water bottles, things like that and uh, yeah we'll just get it looking nice but the first thing I'm going to do is going to go sleep because it's now night time thank god and we can get rid of this damn rain which always seems to hit me just as I'm about to start recording so uh, bush off we go and there we go let's get through here and we'll go to our bed I just want to see if the yep see now these guys are still here because the rain hasn't hit them yet ah, perfect time for a drink as well right so hopefully that will clear now any second yep there we go nice and clear so we need to get some materials so we'll start off so with some cobble some cobble half slabs um, half slabs there maybe take some stairs just in case not sure cobblestone we'll take a lot of that the usual stuff um, do we need anything here we're gonna need gunpowder for some uh, potions actually um, but for now we'll just go see if there's any iron bars in here I don't know how many I've got 28 that should be plenty for a while um, we'll just try and get the main building done for now um, glass I need some wood as well the usual stuff um, do I need anything from here don't really think there's anything in there that I need oh torches obviously wouldn't harm um, and we'll just take some wood and we'll see how we go from there we can come back soon I'm also going to take this brewing stand here because it's good to have more than one I didn't use my silk touch oh yes I did well you can't pick brewing stands up obviously I have one more blaze rod there um, I'm going to have to go to the nether at some point and uh, do some blaze farming because uh, yeah we need some blazes I don't know where the nether fort is actually anymore because I have changed the location of my portal but I'm sure we can find one again I'll have to uh, get that set up at some point I might do it in this episode if we've got time maybe not so basically like I said the idea is going to be um, I could have done with bringing another door actually and have we got a crafting table over here there's one in there right next to me that's good but it just mean coming in here every time and uh, risking the villager um, I could actually probably do with an iron door no do I want a door no we'll get the main building built first and then we'll open it up to the outside so uh, right these guys are going to come in here um, so 
and uh, it just means that we can actually just see the outside a little bit I don't know how high I want this though oh no I didn't want to do that um, we'll get a layer down first shall I make it too high or shall I make it three I think I'll make it three just looks a bit better then and then we'll uh, put a roof on it wrong one um, get that down there there and there and this will be the entrance way so they'll come in here down this one wide that's good and then the main building will start just here so what am I going to do for the main building I think I'm going to do it um, like this and then we'll have wood in between no I don't want to do that oh, I've got to make it yeah because it's there I'm going to have to make it all um, half slabs maybe we'll see we'll just get we'll get three eye done for now and then we'll uh, obviously build upon that when we get to it one two three just do that in every corner and that just gives us a bit of shape one two three right so uh, if you'd like to clear off please thank you annoying villagers um, yeah right we'll get the wood going now we'll just use that much and then uh, we'll just surround yeah we'll surround it there that'll allow us to get a bit of a few windows in and things like that I'm not going to put the glass in yet till I plan where I want everything but we'll just get a basic border going so it is quite repetitive. Uh, do I want wood going all the way up to there or do I want a uh or do I want that to be stone? I think I might have that stone, you know. We'll see what it looks like with stone. just good to keep it looking uh, looking okay and then obviously stone will be all on top up here or will it be half I think it might be half slabs we'll see what half slabs do might have to make some more half slabs as well at some point yeah I think we'll just have half slabs all the way around I'm putting all these down I haven't even looked to see what it looks like yet but uh, it doesn't matter um, <clears throat> oh didn't mean to do that oh well um, nah there just have a small window on each side shall we what does that look like um it doesn't look too bad i'm just not sure about this this cobblestone here what does it look like if i make that wood Oh, I can't visualize that without checking the whole lot so we'll just put the whole lot up and just see what it looks like you just need to get the right ratio I think that looks a bit better to be fair do I do I do and that gives us a bit more opening for a window yeah that looks all right I think now nah, why not why not well we'll go ahead now and again we won't put oh god we haven't even done that side yet uh, there we go and no that's not right want to be slabs just here 
and then wood up here and I don't even want cobble there you idiot it's all about the wood about the wood there we go I've done it again wood idiot wood there we go okay so I might just fill in the whole lot actually we don't need windows surrounding the whole lot at all um, what about the back yeah I suppose we could just stick a little window back there maybe okay so these guys are going to come in here and then onto here we'll see if we get some torches down just to be safe um, just, it's just about keeping it lit up uh, there and uh, no wants to be like that I think just to keep it even well that's me that's mainly most of it done for now that's the shape of the uh, the actual room so while we're torching not that we need it out here really but we'll uh, we'll just stick some torches down just to keep it lit up anyway um, does that look right I don't know is there any problem about putting a torch in the middle we'll just keep it like that for now uh, there and there there lovely and that one there okay so that is the shape of the building put down pretty nicely so we don't need that anymore so what we're going to need now is to think about the sides what we're going to put in here and then we'll do the actual conversion part or do we do the conversion part first so basically what I want is they're going to come in here and then I want them to step on something or do I want them to step on something right let's plan this do I want cobble or do I just want iron bars again now I'm going to need cobble maybe basically let's do a little plan so they, I want them to come in here and then when I flick something two pistons come up to stop them getting out so that means that we need to make sure that whatever does come in can't jump on anything as well so this is going to look horrible for the minute but I've just got to plan it so they'll be in there like that and I want it to come up so it doesn't let them jump so I think we're going to need to go get some pistons night time is coming so that's a good time as well and I might need a lever or a button I think a lever Again, I'm not the best at everything, so uh, be sure if you know a better design to let me know and just uh, help me out a little bit, guys. If you know something that I can do after this episode that I haven't done, something that makes it look better or easier, please be feel free to tell me. So uh, what did we need? We needed pistons. Have I got any pistons? I wouldn't even know where I'd keep pistons. Um, probably in iron stuff or random stuff. I think it was in random stuff yeah right to make pistons what do I need I need iron two pieces redstone two pieces and I think I need wood and cobblestone or is it stone I can't remember let's have a look we'll try and make one now out of normal cobblestone and if it don't work it's stone then I think it is stone unless I've got the designs wrong I should have checked the um, iron and the cobblestone uh, iron and the redstone the other way but it doesn't matter I think we've got a bit of stone in here <clears throat> right we'll try that again so it's going to be wood on the top it's going to be stone down the side and then iron and redstone no that way 
No, so it might have been cobblestone then. It was cobblestone, right. I was right, I just didn't switch them round properly. So let's go and put that in there now. And then there's our wood. So that should give us two pistons. Okay, can I make... No, I need a stick. Again, I just want to get the basic design down at the moment. And then, after that, we can, uh, we can perfect it. So I might take some glass blocks as well, instead of using the cobblestone. It might just look a little bit better for the actual uh, trading place. I want to see that zombie get pelted with uh, snowballs. Just for the hell of it. Come on. Come on. What are these guys? Hey, eh? What are these guys? Get them. Yes. And you, go. I'm going to go ahead and knock him closer. He doesn't know what to do. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, that's fun. Anyway, um, without getting too distracted, let's go. Grab a drink while I'm here. Lovely. Right, okay. So, moving on, moving on. Let's go see if we can get this finished. And then maybe test it out if we've got time. Also going to be setting up the potions room as well, hopefully in the next episode. Getting that done, that will be uh, just here. I'm not quite sure how to do it all yet, but it's just going to have every single ingredient, every single predicament. And I nearly ran past that then because I was looking for the blank space in the ground. Ooh, obviously we've built it. Right, so they're going to come in here, and I'm going to test this now. If I put a piston there, and a piston there, will that work? If I just put a lever in the middle, I don't think it will. I think you've got to link a bit of redstone to it. Yes, you must do. So I need to go and get some of that. Or do I just get a repeater maybe? I'm not sure. Or can I just... I'm not sure how I'm going to do this for redstone at all. So if I just put redstone to there and there, would that work? We'll soon find out. I don't want to open. I could do with picking up some more cobble as well by the looks of it. So while I'm there I'll get another stack of cobble just so I can finish that roof. Stop things getting in. Why didn't I think of bringing redstone? I hope this isn't a repeater jobby as well because I'm not very good with repeaters. I've got to just stop putting torches down. Right. Stack of cobble and some redstone. Is that going to be enough? I'm going to take some more just in case. You never know when you need more redstone. Right. See, I was thinking just putting a pressure plate down, like I did with, like I do with this. But the only trouble is, if you stick a pressure plate down, it'll go off while I'm running in, which I don't want. Because obviously, if I'm coming down here, I stand on this pressure plate. Boosh comes up, I'm stuck, there's a zombie stuck out there, um, now I could run in with a pressure plate, turn around, put it down and then let him come through, that'll be plan B if this doesn't work, but uh, hopefully this will work, and that didn't work, which I didn't think it would do, because I don't think I've quite got it right here, I think it needs to be like this. But then it's not connected. Oh no, it is. It is connected now. That's good. That is good. 
Now, can I put that anywhere above the redstone? Um, learning things with the Messiah. Yes, that works. Good, that works. That's brilliant. That's just where we need it. So, zombie comes through. Zombie villager. We run through. Wait for him to get there. And then, bush. Straight up. Now, my only trouble now is... I don't know if that... Is going to be enough room. Because if he stands on there... And then I flick it in his ear... It'll flick it too high. So, I'm thinking of bringing it back just one more. But obviously, if this works fine then we can do that um, like that putting that there and then putting the piston here now does that work if I put some cobblestone down here put the lever on there yes that works good that gives us more time as well to uh, actually let him get in plus you can still splash him from there and give him the apple the only trouble is now I'd like to uh, maybe bring that down one so I can actually cover it up now will that work still yes it will so that just means now I can actually cover this up or can I I'll still need right the only thing I can think of now is them steps won't be much good if I do that that might have to be how we have it because then obviously it doesn't block the signal yet right well that looks like that one's working good um, Now what do I do up here? I'm thinking of just putting glass down. Just because it looks maybe a bit better than cobblestone. But I need to find a place to feed him the apple. Well, no, I suppose I can do it from here. Yeah, I could splash him from there. And feed him the apple, and then wait, and then when he's done, let him out. Straight out the door. Um, let's see what this looks like. can't jump over pistons can they they might be able to so we'll have to stick that on there and this on here or do I put glass there again I just don't like that. I don't think that looks good. Maybe iron bars again? I am on my silk touch, aren't I? No, I'm not. Right, that's well, just wasting glass then. Right, let's see what iron bars looks like. If I've got enough, I'm not going to have enough here, am I? Well, it doesn't need to be... It 
doesn't need to be all the way up. Just needs to uh, This looks gash, this looks gash. I need to get more iron bars obviously, but um I mean he could jump on there still but he can't really go anywhere can he? Or do I just stick him down the bottom and not have him on top? We'll see what this one looks like then of just having it purely that's not good oh decisions decisions right what does that look like but obviously I'll still need one up there right for now we'll just see what so top or bottom so I don't need that on this side I want to get rid of them. It's just how do I hide? How do I hide that? Because if I put, I can't put. Actually, you idiot! I can just put half slabs down. That'll still work. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was me being an idiot. Now, do I put that there, or do I put that? there I'm not sure I'm not sure what to do there but I'll, I'll obviously be jumping up there but he can't get out once he's in he's in so do I put that around there I just think it looks better yeah top maybe We'll have a look. Stick it in at the top. And then... I'm tempted to take that cobble out and just put fence posts down actually. And not even bother with the iron bars, I'm not sure. We'll go get some fence posts made up. It's night time, damn it, this is would be the perfect time to test this out. But I've still got all the chests to sort out and everything, so uh, can't be doing that. We'll do that next episode. Uh, in fact, we're coming pretty much to the end of where I'd like to be for this episode. Let's watch the baby zombie get slapped by uh, snowmen. Hey, dude! Come play! Oh, it's a villager zombie as well. Oh, he's quick. Ah, ha, ha. He's getting done. Oh, he won't hit me with it. Ah, ha, ha. They're going to kill him. Nice. Good lads. Right. Let's do this and we'll go get some fence. Try that and then uh, hopefully we can make it look a little bit better. If not, who cares? Ah, they're all coming now. That creeper can stay there. It's still doing it. Probably didn't do much damage on him though. But... Certainly stumps him. Well, thank you for the XP. Right, let's go get some fence done. And then we'll see if we can uh, make this look a little bit better too. Thank you. Uh, we'll take all of them. Take a bit more wood as well. But we really are going to have to get on. We've not done hardly anything. Well, we have. We've built the building and started setting up the contraption. But this, I thought this would take one episode. But at least in the next episode, we can uh, get it all finalised. And any time we've got after that, we'll start on the potions room as well. So uh, it's not, nothing too bad. But this kind of stuff takes time and planning, doesn't it? So uh, obviously, I don't want to rush things and uh, mess it up, really. So let's see about... In fact, you know what? I'm going to make... I need a crafting table in here anyway, so I'm going to make one because I'm sick of uh, having to run forward and backwards. So let's make a few more fences. Um, 
I can't remember whether it's that way round. I think it's this way round. Right, let's put some stuff in the chest that we don't need as well for now. That's all uh, that. That. Um, why would I need string? Redstone. Sorted. Right, that'll do. Okay, so fence. What will fence look like? Defense won't connect with that though, which is a shame. But do we need it to? And obviously, I need to keep. Oh, I need to keep. No, I need to keep cobblestone there. Oh, this is annoying. But right, what about just putting cobble down? there and then fencing instead of iron it just look the same though won't it it would just look the same what about putting fence there will that look weird yes that would look weird uh, what about just having fence around the top instead of iron bars see that to me looks a bit better it's a bit chunkier than iron bars and it just looks better in my opinion yeah that does look good that looks a lot better and then obviously we can put that there and stop him getting out but do I put that there yeah I think that looks good that looks like a little conversion unit definitely happy with that so, anyway guys, I'm going to end it there, and um, in fact I'm just going to fill the roof in a little bit, um, just so we can see the end product nearly from a little distance. But uh, like I said, we've not got as much done as I'd hoped, I'd hoped to get this all done in an episode, but I'd rather just sit back and plan it a little bit. So uh, in the next episode we're going to get the, um, the actual conversion stuff set up, brewing stands, water source... Uh, you know, little things like that, a couple of chests to uh, make sure that we can uh, get our ingredients in there, what bottles. I think this is a, a nice little room actually now, and uh, it's going to be quite good. And uh, yeah, so, like I said, progress so far. Zombies come in here, down the cool iron bar design actually. Uh, hello. What are you doing? Come closer. Come closer. Haha, <laughs> sucker. Yeah, they're going to come in here like that. I'm going to run in. They're going to run in behind me. Once they get in, I'm going to push. Up we go. In a chest. Splash potion of weakness. In another chest. Golden apple. You can wait there, sir. They convert. When they're converted, out you come. Um, yeah, which way will they come out, though? Yeah. Well, we might put a little... Um, might put a little side gate in as well, so when they do come in um, actually I could just put a trap door maybe and then when they do come in they'll, uh, they'll be stuck there hmm that's the design for another day anyway but uh, yeah and then we let them out they go into the village hey I'm cured I'm cured see there you go little uh, dramatization there it was like it was really happening anyway thanks for watching everyone